Hi, I'm Carmel Judd. I'm the founder and executive director of Rising International. Thank you so much for this opportunity to tell you about our work. Locally here in Silicon Valley, poverty has a woman's face. In Santa Clara, Monterey and Santa Cruz counties, close to 107,000 women live in poverty. And in fact, in Santa Clara County, more women are persistently homeless than the national average. When Kelly came to Rising, she had been a victim of human trafficking. She arrived at our door without a home, car, or job. Kelly's not alone. And in every city and every state in our nation, more women live in poverty than men. One in four women who are homeless like Kelly are homeless because of violence committed against them. And the same is true for women and poverty throughout the world. In other words, across the street and across the world, far too many women are on the wrong side of the opportunity gap. So how do we solve the opportunity gap for women, especially for women who are survivors of trauma, such as from domestic violence, homelessness, and human trafficking. At Rising, we provide a trauma-informed social entrepreneur program for women. Our solution enables women like Kelly to gain the confidence and skills needed to change their own lives, while also changing lives in communities across the globe. Here's how our model works. A woman like Kelly is referred to us by a local ally who determines Kelly is entrepreneurial ready. In Kelly's case, she was referred by a victim advocate at a local district attorney's office. She meets with our resource manager who identifies the specific barriers that are stacked against Kelly's chances of success. The resource manager creates an action plan that provides Kelly with an entire network of support, including a business mentor, and business training to match Kelly's skill level. In our program, Kelly will have the opportunity to pursue three different social entrepreneurial paths based on her interest and her healing journey. In all paths, she'll not only create change in her life, but also in the lives of other women in similar circumstances. We provide three powerful entrepreneurial paths to success. On path one, Kelly can become an artisan and learn to make beautiful fair trade jewelry and other boutique quality products. She'll earn above minimum wage and she can begin earning income immediately. On path two, she can train to be a rising representative. Rising reps run their own e-commerce stores where the products made by women in path one are sold. This path was inspired by the highly successful direct sales model. So think Avon or Tupperware for a social cause. A rising reps online store is promoted through a type of sales event or what is commonly called a home party. And people are invited to the party, which is now a virtual artisan event. And they learn about women in poverty and they shop to make change happen. And then there's path three. On this path, Survivor entrepreneurs are trained as expert speakers to lead workshops. Currently workshops focus on human trafficking prevention. Survivor entrepreneurs can choose the path that's right for them and some choose more than one path. We're really proud of the positive impact the women in our program have made to date. For example, over 200 women like Kelly have trained to be rising reps and sell products made by rising artisans across the globe. Rising reps consistently outperform direct sales averages by four times. Over 800 people have hosted artisan events that have led to nearly a million dollars in fair trade product sales. Events are now held uh, virtually and continue to outperform industry averages. In Kelly's case, she became an expert speaker and she earns on average $250 per hour delivering workshops now virtually. By choosing this path, she uses her lived experience to help Rising train over 3,000 youth how to stay safe from traffickers. 
The women in our program are uniquely successful because we provide every entrepreneur with a caring network of support. Entrepreneurs are matched with an average of seven professionals who help the entrepreneurs eliminate barriers and open doors for them. For example, in Kelly's case, she was matched with a business mentor who also served as her housing navigator. We estimate the value of the pro bono services that our women in our program receive will reach $10 million in the next three years. And speaking of the next three years, we're excited to expand our proven model so that more women can have access to the power of entrepreneurship. We know of no other entrepreneurial program that doesn't require money, a home, car, computer, or business skills to join. And because we're the first nonprofit in the world to use the highly successful direct selling model, we are uniquely positioned to scale our model. For many years, it was just two staff members and an army of volunteers implementing this important work. Recently, our continued success enables us to fill more positions and upgrade our board of directors to a highly performing working board. COVID-19 has brought new challenges to all of us and it's pushing the limits of our resources. Nevertheless, people are embracing virtual experiences in a way the world has really never seen. This is creating unprecedented potential to expand Rising's reach and impact. And because of record-breaking job loss, there's really never been a greater need for us to reach more women. In order to meet the moment, we need your support for staff and systems. We have a three-year plan that will enable us to expand our powerful methodologies in the counties where we currently work and build a replicable model for scaling our program nationally. We're asking for 480,000 in grants or donations over the period of three years. For year one, we're asking for 140,000 to develop a comprehensive training program and hire program and operations staff to maximize entrepreneur enablement. For year two, we're asking for 170,000 to optimize our e-commerce and data management platforms and continue to build out the team. For year three, we're asking for another 170,000 to deepen specialization in staff expertise and systems to scale nationally. This five-year financial projection chart shows what your three-year investment sets into motion. Earned income in the teal green grows from 25% to 60% in year five, showing a significant reduction on reliance on external funds. Cash flow in orange and profitability in gold also steadily climb, showing that your investment is directly spent on our mission and a small portion strengthens our reserves. So for 480,000 in grants or donations, you will transform over 300 survivors of trauma into entrepreneurs who will then create profound change in our world. For example, these 300 survivor entrepreneurs will generate over 600,000 in income for themselves and their families. They'll generate over 800,000 in income for artisans around the world and their families. And the total income earned by women both locally and globally is three times your investment. They'll also educate 6,000 youth how to stay safe from human trafficking, and they will educate nearly 150,000 event attendees about women in poverty. In essence, you're helping to launch over 300 agents of change. In closing, I hope you'll join us in ending the oppression of women, one of the greatest moral challenges of our time. Thank you.